Hey guys, Silence here here. Welcome back to another Uta Makers Gacha video. Uh, it's been a while since the latest brand new costume was released, uh, which is belonging to Mikumo, of course. If you guys are not up to date, how are you guys doing? Follow me on my YouTube Facebook page, links in the description down below, and keep up to date to information regarding official Macross content. And of course, well, whenever days like this where I feel sluggish and I need a break, <laughs> videos are gonna end up late by a day or so. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so gives you all the reason to follow me on my YouTube Facebook page. Once again, links in the description down below. So let's talk about Mikumo's brand new episode plate and of course, Cheryl's, well, brand new exclusive gacha episode plate. Well, it's not a new costume. The Crimson Scarlet Queen has surfaced before, you know, ever since the Kuji design figure um, came out last year. So this is definitely not new, but a new episode plate has the costume points for it. And we're going to compare the stats, you know, with Mikumo's brand new one, because, well, they are for the same event. So let's take a look at Cheryl's first and break down her episode plate. So 3,879, pretty good total score. Definitely one of the, um, I would say, higher tiering episode plates that Uta Macross has for six star episode plates right now. Uh, focusing more on charm and a bit more, well, slightly lower on soul and voice, which is okay considering that it's pretty all-rounder. Alright, and pay attention to the other three divas that can use the plate as well. Surprisingly, Reyna is one of them. Uh, Min Mei as well. I, I don't know why Reyna and Min Mei are linked to Cheryl. What part of them? I Okay, maybe if Reyna is for her, hot, her haughty attitude. Min Mei? I'm not too sure. So anyways, <laughs> center skill. Um, well, whenever it's used for a love element song or the heart element song, whichever you want to call it by, the unit's total is boosted by 35% up. Like, as always, 35% is not the best we've seen, considering that it is focused on one character, so that's kind of a bummer. Alright, moving along. Active skill for 5 seconds score is boosted by 70% up. Well, yeah, it is not the 100% active skill that we normally see for a high score achieving episode plate. That means this is actually used as a live skill episode plate. So yeah, S rank combo bonus. So if you guys still don't know what it does, you guys definitely need to go and rewatch all my old gacha videos and probably see how terrible I did for my own pools as well. <laughs> but you know, who never knows, uh, sometimes those videos might end up with a miraculous one. Who knows? You gotta watch to find out. <laughs> so let's take a look at the last page. See if this episode plate goes beyond and above being a top tiering plate. And no. Apparently all the new plates that come with old costume points don't really come with special notes attached with them. So hmm. Until then, let's look forward to that day, I guess. So is Cheryl's plate worth getting? If you're a Sharonome fan, why bother asking me? <laughs> you know, all the more you should get it just for the brand new illustration. Although I have to say, the illustration isn't that fantastic. I think the older one actually has more flair to it. So, I mean, you can you can still get the older episode plate from this gacha pool, you know, if you don't have it yet. Um, and of course, if you've not unlocked the costume at all, you know, this is a higher chance to obtain it as well. Plus, her gacha actually gives you a chance to obtain any of the current 7 star episode plates as well. So, you know, it's a kind of a win-win situation. But looking at the percentages that the episode plates appear, uh, I don't know, you might want to reconsider. <laughs> but overall, <laughs> it's still a pretty good deal, you know, considering that the episode plate um, is pretty okay. You know, it has a pretty good life skill as well. Plus, if you are lacking on the costume, most importantly, um, it is the way to go. And of course, if you don't have any 7-star plates or even a 6-star version of those 7-stars yet, 
uh, definitely go for it, you know? Alright, so let's take a look at Mikumo's episode plate. Mikumo's plate, however, well, you know, looking at the design of the illustration, I think the pre-evolved version actually looks nicer. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. <laughs> looking at it, the evolved episode plate image looks really lazy. <laughs> In terms of design, um, there's too much gap in the illustration here on the top right hand corner as compared to the pre evolved one. Why am I not pressing the buttons properly? <laughs> so, as you can see, the pre evolved image is pretty well spread out. You know, you've got the background filling in space, and of course, Mikumo, you know, filling in the space as well. Uh, for those of you who study photography, you definitely know what I'm talking about, or even in art school. So, <laughs> hey guys, let's take a look at Mikumo's brand new plate uh, for her fashionable Macross costume and see whether it actually is good enough to compete with um, Sharonome. So, 3862 total score. I would say it's on par in terms of you know, power. And even though it's lacking a bit on the charm factor, overall, it's still pretty much on the same level. Center skill, uh, units total is boosted by 30% up. It's slightly lower by 5%. Uh, well, considering the fact that we don't have to be locked down by a specific song type, that's pretty okay. But still, looking at the percentage, this episode plate is definitely not meant to be used as a center position plate. So let's move on to the rest of the skills. Life recovery of 30%, not the best percentage you've seen. The highest recovery percent is still 50. So yeah, score repeat improvement. Okay, so it's another one of these episode plates that basically does not do well on its own. It, it needs some other episode plate that has the ability, the score repeat ability. And of course, this episode plate is going to power up that ability, you know, adding in that 60% boost. So, fantastic stuff. Uh, let's see the last page. I don't know, will this be the first episode plate of its kind to get that special note treatment? Apparently not. Okay, so with all this said, aside from the fact that you need to pay attention to the rest of the divas that can use the episode plates, this episode plate, like, all of its kind, those that just basically improve the skills of another episode plate, is it actually worthwhile? I would say no, but if you don't have one, it's good to have one, you know, just in case you need that skill to improve your high score. So it does come with a pretty good total score. So if you just need an episode plate that is powerful compared to the older episode plates of Utah Cross, um, I, I would say this plate is that still definitely a must get, especially if you don't have any of its kind yet. Plus, Mikumo's brand new costume. Oh, that is definitely not going to stop you. Unlocking a brand new costume is definitely the top priority rather than obtaining the episode plate itself. Alright, so if you guys need a reason why I specify costume is more important than episode plate, uh, I guess I probably might do a separate video and we can discuss about that <laughs> in the future. So anyway guys, um, like as always, I'm just gonna go with the brand new gacha because I've already unlocked Cheryl's costume. There is no need for me to go chasing after the brand new plate for Cheryl. Uh, hopefully with all that said and the last three videos behind me, my bad luck might be gone. But who knows, Dana likes to troll. So here we go guys, I'm gonna do a discounted pool for Mikumo's gacha. Hopefully to save up, you know, the remaining stones for the upcoming Kaname and Basara's pirate costumes gacha that's coming along the way. So yeah, looking forward to that. Here we go guys, hopefully, hopefully this time, at least we get some decent luck to pull out a 5 star episode plate. Alright, we do get some quick loads, hopefully, you know, by now, most of my data has been restored. Oh, we do get a very nice Valkyrie animation, to give us hope, immediately <laughs> we get that rainbow box. Alright, 
Ooh, I'm liking that. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my god, it evolved. Oh, I did not expect. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, my account is definitely got a thing for Freya. Uh, it would have been nice if it was Makina's episode plate because it's currently the only one I do not own. Freya, however, she is my first 7 star episode plate that has a plus 2 luck value on it. I mean, I am definitely happy that a 7 star plate is getting a higher luck value. Once it hits the plus 5, it is all out ready to dish out the best high scores I can possibly achieve. But still, oh come on, give me other divas for once. <laughs> okay, a pretty nice rare episode plate right there. So no episode plates for Wow. I don't have a single point for Mikumo's costume. That's horrible. Okay, in this case, should I? Should I go for a 500 stone pool? Just to get some points for Mikumo's costume. Okay, okay. This alone is considered good enough for me. But you know, not getting any costume points for Mikumo's fashionable Macross costume is really irking me very bad. So I'm going for it. Here we go. I would have 150 stones left over probably be able to get another 150 stones somewhere down the line before the next gacha comes around. Alright. Okay, we're back to the moderate luck. Oh no. Oh, lots of red boxes. Hopefully those are the new plates with the custom points. Here we go. Oh. It's an old plate. That's okay. Let's keep going. Another old plate. Uh oh. This is not looking good. Look, even Raka is crying. Oh god. Oh no, double tears. This is not looking good at all. Oh yes! I got one! <laughs> one brand new plate that's. that's all I asked for. <laughs> there we go. So that's the banner I want to see. <laughs> and yes guys, that's it for today. Let me guys know in the comments once again what do you guys think about the two plates and of course your own personal pools. Leave a like to this video if you enjoyed me <laughs> baffle at my own gacha pools as always. <laughs> subscribe! If you have not subscribed, what are you doing? Oh my goodness, you should have been subscribed by now. And of course, you know, follow and like my YouTube Facebook page once more. The link's in the description down here. And I'll see you guys soon. Well, in another few days. Because that's when the Red Boss event is going to happen. And... I don't know. Is Kanami coming first? Or Basara? Hmm. Until then, let's see how things go. Bye!